So, yesterday, um, the mass shooting in Buffalo. I can't believe he even pleaded not guilty. But um, it's heavy on my heart after watching the video that he came out untouched. Yeah, the, the police officer shot him and nothing was happening. But at the same time, after he put that gun to his neck, y'all still talked him out of doing that. Handcuffed him with no problem. Got a portal race card. If it was a black person, they would have been dead. Would have been dead on sight. No second guessing. Nothing. If you see a black person driving around with that type of gear on or anything that may look suspicious. Hell, just driving black is suspicious. You would have been pulled over. He travels 200 miles to a tops in a, a, in a black neighborhood to kill black people. Sees a white man. He says no and he says sorry. That's wild to me. How is that okay in today's community? And everyone preaches, oh, you know, black people are the problem. How are you this angry at a skin color that you would destroy your whole life just because you want to go out there and kill some black people because of the color of their skin? And I will say this, even though a black person may have hate in their heart, may not like white people, may hate white people, I've never seen a black person act out and go do a mass shooting killing mm, 20s, 30s, hundreds of white people. I've never seen it. And I just threw numbers out there. I've never seen it. It is only white people that do this, that have that much hate in their heart. But you're scared of the black people? Where does that make sense at? Where is that okay at? Like, I, I've never seen it in, at all. And yeah, you might, oh, we, there was a white, a black boy that did this, a mass shooting. We talking about Sandy Hook, Batman, church killing. These is big things and, you know, you can't wrap your head around and you still, till today, are asking, like, why? What was the point? There's no way you have that much hate in your heart towards anybody that you should want to take their life. Why? And in this world we live in, and people ask me, why are you always in the house? What am I going out for? I don't even know if I can go to the grocery store and it's okay. People just going regular grocery shopping and they're gunned down. That's sad. That's scary. There's no way that I'm sorry, he should have left out of there alive. Watching that Twitch video was very hard. I could only watch it twice because I just wanted to know what was said at the end to the white guy and he said sorry. He's in full tactical gear. And you could tell he just didn't care. And it's sad that the black people are always to blame for everything. When? When are y'all going to come to the conclusion that these white thugs are the problem as well? I don't even think black people are a problem. Yeah, we might fight amongst ourselves. Yeah, we might kill each other, whatever. But we ain't doing no shit like this. We not. Killing people for no reason. Just because they're black. There ain't that much hate in my heart that could ever make me want to go to a random location and start shooting at white people just because they white. No, it ain't worth it. If I got a problem, go get some help. Go talk to somebody. Try to understand what's going on in your mind. A lot of y'all don't want to do that. Y'all rather just go kill. I would love to talk to someone that can sit here and tell me Oh, this is why they probably did it. Or, oh, the, men, no, it's not mental. No, you can't sit here and say that. Oh, he just have a mental issue. That's why he did it. No, the dude is crazy. He has a problem within himself. Death penalty. Life in jail. 
But then again, life in jail, taxpayers are still paying for him to live in a jail cell. That shouldn't even happen. He should not be in protective custody. You are going out there to the yard, sir, with everybody else. None of these mass shooters should be in protective custody. Y'all wanted to do something publicly, you can go out here with the public inmates, all the rest of them, whatever it's called in the yard. And you can, that's how you gotta live. You come through, you come through. You don't, you don't. But there should be no special privileges. No Burger King, nothing like that. No protective custody. No, you did something that was very hurtful, live. Like, I don't get it. And you get McDonald's. You get handcuffed freely. You get asked to surrender. That's it. And I and I keep telling myself I want to make a podcast, and I guess this is my first one because it's nonsense. And this world is very scary. You don't know what's next. But I wish everybody would just love everybody. I wish y'all put the guns down and square up like they did back in the day. You lose, you lose, man. Who cares? Like Friday, you live to see another day. I'd rather live to see another day knowing I got my ass beat. I can fight you again. Let me go polish up on some things I know I got my butt beat on. Let me go polish that up round two a little later. But ain't no way I'm about to go get some guns and come back and start blazing. No, I took an L. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some. Who cares? I ain't trying to kill nobody. You may say stuff in the heat of the moment that you don't mean. But nah, I'm not finna act out none of that. Unless you do something to my family, my kids. Don't expect that out of me, but we will square up before we do anything else. Get them gloves, let's go. No hair pulling, nothing like that. Let's go, square up. But I pray for the Buffalo people uh, that was killed, injured. I pray for their families. I pray that they... Yeah, boy. I pray that, um, God, you just cover them. Cover their families in this tragic time because it's scary. The world is scary. It's been scary, but it's getting scarier. Um, I don't understand the world that we live in. And I don't understand the hate in people's hearts. No matter how many mass shootings you do to kill black people, we still here. We ain't going nowhere. Deal with it. You don't like it, stay in the house. You don't like it, stay away from us. Don't give us eye contact. You don't like it, it sucks. That's on you. But don't punish us because of the hate in your heart. Don't hurt people's families because you don't like a certain color. Black, brown. I don't get it. But y'all tan just to look like us. This ain't no hate speech. I just don't understand the mind frame of a white person that thinks how they think and then go and act on those thoughts of killing someone. I would love to have a debate. I would love, not even a debate. I just want to talk. Go, I just want to talk to somebody. That, I don't think I'm viewing it wrong. Um, I see it how I see it. I'm sure a lot of other people do too. You might think that this is some type of hate towards the white community, but no. I love everybody. You may not love me the way that I love you, but I ain't got no hate for nobody. That means you control me. And I ain't got that much hate in my heart. So, I took up enough of y'all's time. Till next time.